there is so many different ways that you can look at it. So in the same time, for me, I actually enjoy the violent act of it. It's beautiful. It's awful, but it's so beautiful. And it's so something deep inside of us that we all have it. And we can all relate to it because it's, it's the secret desire in the end. So in the same time, we can look at it as an evil thing, but we all know that we are those. The song is very like deeply personal, I would say, but in kind of an abstract way. Maybe not a linear narrative kind of structure, but it's, it's very clear what the message is coming out of it. And I think that a project like this, where you incorporate a dance that can be quite abstract and allows for a lot of expression while still uh, capturing the essence of what we're doing, goes very well, that goes perfectly with the concept of what I'm trying to do. everything very shortlisted and storyboarded you know there was some freestyle here and there but not like as much as in this project and I find I find that very exciting because some of the best moments in film actually come from a surprise that's the beauty of it sometimes you know you write a script and you, you you have a whole film planned in your mind and then you hire the talents to perform it right so here is actually a very collaborative process because the dancers are helping us you know developing our concept as well the way i work with movements is uh, always going through the question of why um what makes us move in a certain way um and uh, in here, I really wanted to understand the angle of the main character and how the society uh, can potentially uh, influence or suppress the individuality of the main character. And then in what way the character is reacting physically to this pressure, as well as what can motivate the group to create the pressure for the main character. Talking about the character itself being society, it's not one person. It is a huge part and having that done with dance or a movement more or less, it's very interesting because, I mean, it brings so many different parts of what we are actually human and then again how we are actually so close to nature, so violent. I think that's what really grabbed me. It's the violent act of being a human and being in society. We, we need to portray this act many times. And then when you finally get to show the thing that you have inside, it's, it's liberating. It's very interesting because it, we are all the time talking about, is it too violent? Where is the balance between, are we pushing something when it actually is so naturally happening? How we close ourselves, we, we can talk about the ugliness and the violence, but how much it 
is connected into how we close ourselves also and how it's actually very um, unconscious act that we have that we accidentally go into it so then again there's another layer it, it's very close to like an, an animal or like a wild beast of some sort that, that we can't always we as humans have been like kind of in this box that we have to be like this and like this and to hear it just let it out is freeing in a sense. Beautiful sort of interplay of people that know exactly what they want to do and exactly how they want to do it but still manage to come together and you know work together to try to slay this beast that is uh, our collective vision. In my experience, a healthy creative environment is always challenging known aesthetics and is always playful in that pursuit and is always looking at different ways to reinterpret or to tell it, to tell a different story or the same story in a different way. There's a lot of combinations to the point where you can't list them all, which is part of the excitement. And at the same time, you want to achieve the notion of aesthetic. You want it to be something you can look at and say, that's awesome. And they did something there, and maybe they can, people can tie it to things they've seen before and stuff like that. We're all building on what we've experienced in life anyways, and this is just an honest approach to it. We always knew it was going to look good, but then seeing it on the screen, you're just like, fuck, it's, it's awesome. But it's, it's early days, but yeah, it's exactly what we wanted. Totally different and much better and exactly as good. <laughs> Fucking awesome.